Storm Team 29 forecast. You are looking live at a damp Sunday morning overlooking downtown Charlottesville from our East Market Street weather camera. The steady rainfall is long gone, but some leftover mist and drizzle will remain over the next several hours. Good Sunday morning to you. I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick in your first forecast for Charlottesville and Central Virginia slowly rising through the 60s this morning. Gray gloomy skies, mist and drizzle, and if we're lucky, fingers crossed, we'll get some breaks of sun, but not until the end of the day. And if we do get some breaks of sun, we will top out in the lower 70s. For the Shenandoah Valley, Harrisonburg, Stanton and Waynesboro, little to no sun today. It's a damp morning, cloudy skies with daytime highs mostly in the 60s. Let's check out some video from the gusty winds we had yesterday over most of the area. It was a squally first day of autumn. I took this video in my neighborhood yesterday afternoon showing the winds gusting with the showers pushing on through those tropical downpours with Ophelia. If you look at Notice some of the trees are starting to, to change color, especially if the trees have been stressed with the recent dry spell and the drought. Yesterday's winds peaked at 40 miles per hour for Troublesville. That is uh, briefly tropical storm force. Wintergreen Afton, as expected, the higher elevations of the Blue Ridge had winds exceed 50 to 55 miles per hour. But for most of you, it was a 35 to 45 mile per hour wind gust. And we all received beneficial rainfall anywhere from one to three inches on a widespread scale. So this will help to chip away at our ongoing moderate to severe drought. NBC 29's live Doppler radar. Our scope is showing nothing the way of widespread rain right now. The showers, mist and drizzle is still out here over areas of Central Virginia, the Blue Ridge and the Shenandoah Valley, but the steady rainfall continues to pull away from Culpeper, Madison, Green and Orange counties. The center of what was Tropical Storm Ophelia is over the Baltimore and into Washington Metro. It's no longer a tropical system. It's called post tropical cyclone Ophelia. It's lost its tropical characteristics. It's more kind of like a nor'easter now as it moves northbound into Maryland and Pennsylvania. So there goes the steady rain today. Clouds left behind mist and drizzle this morning. Here's 5 p.m. We may get a hazy break of sun, mostly cloudy overnight with areas of fog forming by daybreak. More clouds than sun Monday with a stray shower chance. So we have small rain chances for the week ahead. Tuesday, perhaps Thursday and Friday. And so far, so good for next week. It looks to be dry. Nothing all that organized when it comes to weather systems for the new work and school week. Our forecast guidance is showing light rainfall amounts here on out for the rest of September. Looking ahead at the last week of September, daytime highs below average. Our average highs in the upper 70s for Fort Charlottesville. We're going to be about 8 to possibly 10 degrees cooler than that midweek this week. Forecast for this Sunday, mostly cloudy, a light breeze, less rainfall with highs in the upper 60s to the lower 70s. For tonight, some patchy fog will form mid to upper 50s and low 60s by daybreak. Your Monday forecast, mostly cloudy, a spotty shower chance with highs in the upper 60s to the low, if not mid 70s. Here's your seven day forecast cooler on Tuesday. Lots of clouds could be a shower around mainly in the morning. A lot of cloud coverage on Wednesday and Thursday. A couple of showers around, but not all day washouts. Nothing very heavy. 60s by day, 50s overnight, and we may see a drying trend later Friday and at least next weekend as we wind down the month of September and say hello to October a week from today. Yeah, the fall weather is now in the air. It certainly is a lot cooler than average for the middle part of the week. Well, I guess people can enjoy the cooler mm -hmm. now that we had that really, really long week of just hot. Yeah, no more heat waves until next summer. Yeah, well, thank you.